Hello friends, welcome back to STM Tutorials. Myself Ajinkya and we are here to learn more about STM32 controller. So let's begin. So in this video, we will see how to generate a 50 kilohertz pulse in a particular duration. So first, click on file, click on new, click on STM32 project. It will start the target selector. In the part number, type STM32F103C6 because we have C6 controller available in the simulation. Now click on LQFP48, click on next. Give the project name, targeted language as C and click on finish. As I have already created this project, I won't be going with the same steps. Now come to your system configuration, click on RCC, select crystal ceramic resonator, click on GPIO pin, GPIO input, so GPIO input, then in the timer section, click on timer 1, select the clock source as internal clock, then select channel 1 as PWM CH1. After that you can see that PA8 pin is selected as timer 1 channel 1 output and PA0 is selected as GPIO input and this will be our PWM generation pin. Okay. Now go into clock configuration. Select PLL clock source as HSE. Then the system clock marks as PLL clock. In the PLL multiplexer, select it as multiplied by 9. So it will make the total frequency as 72 megahertz. Then in the APB1 prescaler, select divide by 2. So it will set the peripheral clock to 72 megahertz with APB1 peripheral set to 36 megahertz. Now click on generate code. Now this will update the code. Till our code is generated, we will look into our simulation. So here in the simulation, select STM32F103C6 controller. Now we are selecting PA0 as GPIO input. So Click on generate mode, click on pulse and put the pulse here. Now click on oscilloscope, oscilloscope and put the oscilloscope here. Click on generate pulse, set the pulse high voltage equals to 3.3 volt, rise time 1 microsecond and fall time 1 microsecond, pulse width of 50 and frequency of 50 hertz. Now go into your design, set click on configuration rails. Here in the ground section, this VSS and VSS A both will be selected, both should be added here. And in the VCC VDD section, VDD and VDD A should be added and set the voltage to 3.3 volts. For VEE, we are setting the voltage at 0. Click on OK. Now let's go back to our code. So, here in main.c, let's come to int main. Now, we want to generate timer when the input pin is high. And when the input pin is low, there will be no PWM output. So we want to code accordingly. So first we will set our timer. So the PWM generation will be at 50 kilohertz with 50% duty cycle. 
so the ccr counts will be exactly half of that arr count now as we have seen as we have said the crystal frequency of 72 megahertz the arr counts comes to 1440 and one should be subtracted from the total arr count so for 50 kilohertz we get arr count of 1440 and the count minus 1 will be loaded into arr register we have set the prescaler to 0 as we can see that the clock frequency is set to 72 megahertz so so we will need to set the arr count for 50 kilohertz now here we have started the pwm on timer 1 channel 1 so here halt time pwm start on timer 1 channel 1 after that we have disabled the timer here we have set the prescaler value to 0 so the timer clock will be set to 72 megahertz for 50 kilohertz the error count comes to be 1440 the count that will be loaded into error register will be value minus 1 that is 1440 minus 1 which is equals to 1430 now for 50% duty cycle the ccr value will be exactly half of that arr value so the ccr value will come as 720 here we have not started our timer that is pwm we want it to run only when the input pin is high so in while one we will continuously monitor and it will stay here when the input pin is low it will come here and it will check that if the input pin is equals to equals to 0 it will stay here else it will start the timer and it will wait here now it will wait until the pin is high as soon as the pin goes low it will turn off the timer and it will come here now it will continuously monitor that our pin input pin is high or not once the pin is high it will stay here till the pin is low once the pin is high this condition will be false and the program counter will come to this instruction and it will run the timer again the program counter will come to this instruction and it will continuously monitor for the pin equals to equals to high when the pin equals to equals to high it will stay here once the pin goes low it will go to the next instruction and it will stop the timer we have not added anything extra apart from this small code so this is only thing that we have added into our code now we will build the code build the code we have zero errors zero warnings the hex file is generated go into your simulation double click on the controller load the hex file click on okay and click on run now if you see that we are getting pwm pulses only when the input pin is high the input pin is connected to channel b the input pin is connected to channel b and the timer output is connected to channel a so we can see that when input pin is high we are getting the pwm output when input pin is low pwm output is off again when input pin is high we are again getting the pwm output now we will check the duty cycle of the pwm pulse
stop zoom in now we'll check for 50 kilohertz reciprocal of 50 kilohertz comes to 20 microsecond so we are getting a pulse of 20 microsecond with exactly half on period so we are getting a pulse of 50 kilohertz with exactly 50 percent duty cycle This project can be used in many applications where you want to detect the 50 Hz line frequency and do certain operations depending on it. So here we have generated a 50 kHz pulse when the line is high and the timer will be off when the line is low. If you enjoy the video, click on like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time.